Happy holidays, everyone! My gift to you is this list of 20 free VR games that I've recently discovered. Enjoy! Rattle Trap is a refreshing casual game that utilizes your room scale in very creative ways. Your job is to defend your clunky old ship from swarms of evil bots that are trying to destroy it. Open fire on every bot you can find, and also keep an eye out for things coming undone in your ship and try to repair it during the chaos. If you have a play area of at least 2.5 by 2.5 meters, then you can simply walk through the entire ship. And while walking, you can utilize two elevator systems to travel through the ship. I really enjoy whenever you can travel an entire game by just walking, and this is a fresh new take on room scale movement. Fortunately, if you don't have that much play space, you can turn on options for locomotion, so anybody can play this. It's a fantastic casual game. Gravity Architect is a puzzle challenge that's all about gravitational forces. A path of cubes are moving in space, and you need to create and arrange planets to manage the gravitational pull, so the path reaches the goal. One of the most fun parts is sculpting away at a planet you've created to reduce its mass, and therefore its gravitational strength. There's three difficulty modes. The harder the difficulty, the smaller the target you're trying to reach. Don't let the simple graphics fool you. This game is addicting and surprisingly fun. In A Guy and His Hero, there is a tiny guy walking in a miniature world, and you are his hero. The guy will frequently come across obstacles and puzzles that only you can solve for him. It's all engineered like a puzzle box. You'll notice handles, dials, and rails wherever things can be manipulated. You'll get the hang of it pretty quick, and it's an enjoyable challenge. Immaterial places you inside a story where you're a test subject for simulations. Inside each simulation, you're allowed to move through walls, and that creates some original puzzle solving. Like here, where you're supposed to stick your head into the safe so you can crack the code. The goal for each level is to press the red round button, but of course, it's easier said than done. You'll really have to think outside the box in this game. If you think you've seen it all with puzzle games, then it's a must play. But you should know that it requires a play space of 2.6 by 2.6 meters. In Alien Construction Skills, on each of your hands are a UFO with a tractor beam and you need to help ancient civilizations build some structures. Each level has a specific goal for the structure you're building, and if you accidentally hurt the people, then you have to start over. Avoiding the little people is definitely the biggest challenge in this game. Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> if your play space is too small to walk over to the building blocks, you can tilt the UFO toward the blocks to bring them to you. Alien construction skills is a refreshing stacking challenge. Babylon is a god game where you need to manage minion workers and assemble a mighty tower according to building instructions. All of the voices in this game are in French, but there's English subtitles so you can follow along. Bon bah, restez pas là-bas comme un flan. Ramenez-vous par ici. Il existe un autre moyen de vous déplacer. Open the lid of the nearby buildings to grab minions and place them at one of the three resource locations to begin harvesting. Once the resources are collected, you'll begin to receive building blocks of those materials. Assemble those blocks according to the blueprints, and you'll have one level of the tower assembled. The next levels will have new instructions for you to build. At your disposal are some supernatural powers, like spraying water to extinguish a forest fire. For a free god game, check it out. Doldrum is a xylophone rhythm game, and let me warn you right away that you will not be impressed by my gameplay footage because I found this incredibly challenging. You've certainly played games like this before. Hit the colored notes in time with the colored orbs coming at you. 
There's a battle element to the game as well. There's an evil floating boss in the distance. If you hit the special bar note with both hands, you'll send an attack at the boss. But unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to dodge their attacks. Try this for yourself if you're musically inclined. Flight Brawl is a cute little dogfighting game. Move your motion controller to guide your miniature planes so you can avoid the enemy fire and hopefully shoot them down as well. It's a small and simple game, but good looking and fun to play. Lit Lit is a sequential button pressing puzzle game. It requires a little bit of room scale so you can reach all the buttons on the walls. It's a little short, but I really enjoyed playing it. It's also a perfect game for VR newcomers, as it's instantly playable and doesn't require a lengthy explanation to get going. In Marshmallow Penguins, you'll find penguins scattered and lost in a very wide area, and you need to guide them to the center island so they can be reunited. The challenge is that there are very fast killer whales, and they love the taste of marshmallow penguins. The visual design is beautifully minimal, and the gameplay challenge isn't too hard. It's totally worth a free download. Pac-Man VR is exactly what it sounds like. The Pac-Man playfield is arranged on a giant cube that's surrounding you. The control scheme takes some getting used to. Pac-Man has six degrees of freedom, so he's guided by which way your controller is pointing. So to keep an eye on him and move him, you may end up looking like a contortionist at times. But it gets the job done. Parabolic is an arcade shooter with a classic feel. Enemies approach you along a curved path, which is an interesting way of seeing them approach from a distance. Dodge asteroids and enemy fire as best you can until you reach the boss. Your right hand on the joystick controls your strafing and firing. With your left hand, you choose the weapon you want to fire. I had fun playing this. If you enjoy games that feel like classic arcades, then definitely give it a shot. One thing to note is that when I started the game the first time, I had to bend down to the floor to reach the menu, but after that, it all worked fine at a normal sitting height. Ray the Robot is a colorful and pleasant platforming game. The visual design kind of felt like a Mario game to me, but of course without Mario. Your left hand controls Ray, he can jump and send power to equipment. Your right hand will assist Ray with things like turning on switches or manually moving platforms. Everything here is high quality. If you enjoy platforming games, then it's a must play. Santa's Sweatshop is a grim and dark peek into how things really are at the North Pole. You play the role of an elf with the unfortunate task of assembling toys for Santa. When you're ready to begin, push the big yellow button on your left for toy pieces to spill onto the table. Use the guide on the table to figure out how the toy is assembled and throw it into the big bag. Or try the smaller bag for more points. Hit the yellow button again for another toy and keep trying with Santa hurling insults at you. Play this, and then feel grateful that you're not an elf trapped in hell. Let me guess, you failed 8th grade shop class. <laughs> Run Boy Run is an endless runner in three dimensions. Our hero Danny is running in the city, and you need to spawn road tiles so he can keep going. Behind Danny, the old tiles are violently exploding, so you both need to keep things moving along. There's a manual and auto control scheme for Danny. In auto mode, he didn't do what I expected him to, so I recommend manual mode so you control which direction he goes. But keep in mind the direction you press is relative to the way he's facing, not the way you're facing. Controlling Danny while simultaneously managing the spawning tiles completely filled up my brain, and I found it very engaging. 
snakes on an extra dimensional plane puts you in the care of two jetpack astronaut mice with two evil flying snakes after them for a tasty meal. Keep avoiding the snakes in constant motion for as long as you can. The longer you last and the more pickups you get will increase your score. That's all there is to it. Check this out for a unique casual challenge. The getup puts you in the role of a god in ancient Egypt, and you need to ensure that pyramid construction keeps chugging along. It's a multitasking challenge that requires quick thinking and reflexes. You want to get as many stones pushed uphill as possible, and the slaves can only push the stones on top of logs, so you need to get more logs from trees or move logs to the front of the line. And if there are too many stones for the number of slaves you have, they'll get crushed. Later, you'll have to deal with hot rocks, and you'll need to find jars of water to cool down the rocks. Everything is highly polished in this game, and I found the gameplay quite addicting. It's one of my favorites on this list, and I highly recommend it. Tornado Tower is a miniature platforming game that kind of feels like the classic Prince of Persia game. The usual platforming elements are here, you can fire at enemies to destroy them, and you obviously don't want to fall to your death. But while you control the main hero with your left hand, the unique aspect is that you control a wind spirit with your right hand. Click and drag to create wind tunnels for the hero to reach new places. The wind tunnels you create will also affect props and scenery in ways that are required to progress in the game. It's a cool little platformer with good audio design and bright vivid colors. Undead Development places you in a cartoony salvage and survival mission against an endless zombie horde. What really sets this apart is the salvage and building aspects of the game. You can take almost any object and nail it up as a barricade to keep the zombies at bay. You can even break down big objects like furniture to block passageways as well. If you survive the wave, feel free to venture out to find more supplies or weapons. I really like the cartoony feel of this game since there's so many zombie games out there, the colorful and lighthearted feel really sets this apart. There's a version of this game on Steam with more features if you want to check it out, but the free version I linked to below provides lots of play as is. Try it out, and if you want even more, then check out the paid version on Steam. In Vertical Slice, you wield a magical sword that sends powerful slices through the air. As you aim the sword, you can see a horizon line that represents where your slices will fly. Hold trigger and swing to send those deadly slices toward the enemy. Lots of colorful baddies and bosses will try to thwart you in this manic and energetic action game. The webpage says there's multiplayer as well, but I didn't try that myself. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!